Hey, what's going on, fam? I'm just changing my defense real quick. What are you doing? Haha. <laughs> I will get 53 if I um, ever hit that. Um, please hit more. Th um, th thank you. Nope. Mm -hmm. There we go. Third for 53 defense. Good. And 52 strength, but I miss it because I'm an idiot. And 54 hit points! And 65 uh, combat, yay. And uh, just about to get uh, 55 attack. After this, we'll be working on 55 defense. There we go, perfect. And uh, I think the combat level here. There we go, 66. So I'm an idiot and I lost the track of the level 51 defense, but here's 52 defense! You are a true hero. I'd be happy to sell your room plate bodies. You have completed the Dragon Slayer quest! You're awarded two quest points! Ability to equip Rune Plate Bodies, ability to equip Dragon Plate Bodies. 18,650 Strength Experience and 18,650 Defense Experience. Defense?! Oh, I thought it was Defense and Attack. Cool. Look at me, one. Have I Rune Plate Body, please? Time. For the very first time, you completed, you completed the Tears of Crafting quest! You're awarded one quest point, 1,000 Crafting Experience! I think it re-leveled, did it? No, sorry. Um, access to the Tears of Gothic's Cave! Cool. Dang. Uh... <laughs> mm. Cool, level 3 Hunter. Wow, that's... Unexpected to get more of that. You can now track common kibbits. You made that? Oh. Ah, we did! I thought there was gonna be more. Ha ha ha. Woo! 2, 10, 4. Hey, you are complete animal magnetism! You are aware 1,000 XP in crafting, fletching, and slayer. Ooh, do we get any levels from that? Not in crafting. Uh, wood cutting? Nope. What about slayer? <sighs> um, crafting? Not crafting either. Although we're getting close! Uh, Avis, uh, one quest point, Avis device. Avis device, Avis device. Uh, level 50 slayer! You can all kill Bavad and Bavelv! Um, I don't know what level 50 this is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 12 level 50. Dang, we're, we're. I think it was 24 skills, so we're halfway there, I think. 24, that could be wrong. I, I don't know. Anyways, level 50 Slayer, yes! Uh, 54 defense. One more to go so we can finally stop doing the skill that absolutely gets me no efficiency in battle. Oh, strength and attack, I miss you so. Level 55 hit points, I'm so sad and alone. Oh, 11, there we go, 55 events, finally. Uh, oh, I got 68 combat too. Normally I'd probably go for 60 attack first, but we already got 56 strength, so I mean, I guess we're going for that because that hurts my brain to look at and all of that. So yeah! 60 strength, here we come. La 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 la. Alright, alright, alright. It's time for me to finally start farming. I could do another quest, just give me, I think, like 35 or something. But instead, we're just going to. Damn, go rich. Oh, what is this? What? Why the heck do I travel to these places? What the heck? That's new. Anyways. Oh, I thought something wrong was happening. Uh, I believe... So, I have these trees here. There's a bunch of different factions. There's a fruit tree patch. Okay, that's why I figured. Sorry, this is literally the first time in, like, years and years since I've even tried this. Um, I did look up, like, off-screen where to go, because <laughs> I couldn't remember. Um, but, uh, it's all you do for farming. Ish. Well, this tree patch over here. There's different types of patches. There's herbs. There's tr fruit trees. There's fruit trees. Those are all different things. I don't want to write this up real quick here. You can plant this. I don't have. A, you have a spade. Can I buy a spade? <sighs> One spade later. Okay, so we're gonna use this tree on this patch. Please work. Okay, good. Wait, really? <laughs> Alright, next thing to farming level for that, level 18 farming. Alrighty then. Then there should be someone nearby here. Oh, here we go. Pay for prissy skill. Oh, the game. Oh, the game is like going basic to mail. So depending on what tree you're using, like that'll be nice. Instead of me, I'll make sure the picture grows nicely for you. So you can't even see the stupid thing. But um, essentially what will happen is after a time, um, it will grow up and it'll be a good time. Oh, you can teleport to you guys. Okay, man, I'm learning all kinds of things here. Uh, it's, I think it's 220 minutes. Also, like the basket of tomatoes is different for every tree. So, you know, the higher level tree, normally the 
uh, more expensive thing you want to use. Uh, in this case, it's only to my to my which is still like, I think it's like 600 coins. So I bought 10 oak saplings, which if you use an oak seed on a plant pod, um, it change it. You could water it and it grows into a sap. I just you could also just buy the sap. So I did that. It was a bit more expensive, but it's probably still worth it in my opinion. Okay, where's the uh, where is the next page? Why am I running over there for? I swear when I click the map, it just kind of randomly decides where I'm running. It's fine. I'm going to go this way anyways. But I figured I would kind of show where how I do my first farm on here and then never do this again. Uh, except for when I change my... Because eventually I'm going to be doing fruit trees as well. I think you don't unlock that till like level... Um... 30... 27? 27, I think? I would check, but eh, we, 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 we's good, sucker. And then also herbs eventually. Um, right now there's no real herbs that are worth it to um, do herb runs with. But Ranars, I think that's level like 27 or 30 or something like that. Once I get to that, I will um, do I will do that. Uh, basket to my dolls. Also, like, apparently I could bring these noted as well as to save inventory space. I didn't. I don't really know why I didn't, to be honest, but I didn't. So yeah, every like 220 minutes, I think if you log out of the game, it like res it restarts the timer back at stage. So you don't gotta stay in logged in or logged out the entire time, but I think it like there's something weird with how timing works in this game where if you log in or out it like messes up. I think something about that was fixed or it's changed or something. I don't know. I haven't we'll probably figure that out as we go. But yeah, it, it also depends on every tree too. Like the more higher typically the higher level tree, the, the less um I don't run geez, sure I am. Um typically the, the higher level tree the longer it takes to um grow. So yeah, we've done so far we did uh we just did the one Falador here before that we did um, Haverly, and then the one before that we did the tree gnome strong home. So there's five, there's typically five patches per type of tree in the game. Um, so there's two left here. We're getting to the fourth one here, so pretty much one left. Uh, there we go. El Perfecto. And if you could hit me, oh please. Come on, impling. Just beads in Oh, he ran away, he heard me. <laughs> Alright. Hurry up. At least we get sick weeds, bro. <laughs> I could, I should probably cut this out. But you know what? These episodes don't, aren't gonna have as much anymore. Now I'm starting at a higher level and gonna have less to show for it. So, you know what? Here's some longer content, okay? And the final one is in Varrock. Go there. So, after you get the bulk of your experience from this, um, when you, uh, when you check the health after it's successfully grown so if you don't pay the farmers to look after your crops for you uh disease can affect them and then if you don't uh see that your tree is diseased in time it'll die and you get nothing for that so it's honestly the most of the time sometimes the payments are extremely expensive and not worth it but most times i believe they're much uh, they're definitely worth it just because they'll never get diseased and die there's a cure disease potion thing you can use on the tree if it's you know sick but like i said you know, you don't catch it in time, and unless you plan on logging in a bunch to watch that. Like, no one does that, man. Anyway, so that's how you do a farming run, and I guess I'll kind of, sh I'll probably show the very first one I do, maybe the last one I do after I, once he's all fully grown, because we don't need another five minute clip of me just running around like a dummy. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. Cool. Alright, I decided to go for a little 50 fishing and cooking next, because why not? So here's me getting level 39 fishing, which unlocks uh, fishing tutor information. Good. And here's level 40 cooking, because why not, right? Uh, you can now cook lobsters and cakes. Goody. And uh, tangled toad legs. Wonderful. 41 cooking. Uh, jubbly birds, baked potatoes, and chili corn corn. Wonderful. And total level 900. Awesome, with 1.8 million experience points. And level 40 uh, fishing, because why not, right? I can actually now cook lobsters, which is fantastic, because that means we're going to go to a new training location. And one of my favorite locations of train fishing in the game. So here we go. Here's level 41 uh, fishing, not cooking, fishing. 40 cooking. Fried onions and chocolate babes. All right, so it's about to get level 42 fishing here. I really love this place. It's so peaceful. Uh, there's normally a pretty large talkative community here too, and there's a 42 fishing, perfect. There's not really a whole, whole lot of people that have been talking since I've been here, but it's still like super cool to like have a little community here, and it's real fun, reminds me of the old days. Level 43 cooking! We did it, and I still kind of missed it. Uh, I can now cook bass. Bases. 
And level 43 fishing. It's about time to. This is pretty slow, not gonna lie, but it's still relaxing, so. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. There's level 44 cooking. Perfecto Moonlight Me. Don't know what that's for. 44! 45! And I can now cook uh, meat, pizza, swordfish, brockfish, and looks like all blocks of. Level 45 fishing! I can now cook bag with. Here's level 46 cooking! And fried mushrooms. 46 fishing! Whoa, 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 whoa! We can now catch sea bass with large net. There's level 47 fishing because why not, am I right? Uh, I can now catch drift net fishing on Fossil Island? I don't know what that's about with 41 Hunter. Alright. There's level 47 cooking. Getting close. Uh, baked potatoes, butter, cheese, and fish pie. Level 48 fishing because why not, am I right? Ha 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 ha. Leaping trout, which is a very effective way to train fishing. That being said, I'm probably not gonna do that for a while. Shut up, fool! 48 cooking! Getting close to 50, you can now churn cheese. Wonderful. Never in my life I want to do anything more than churn cheese. Alright, I got a ton of experience. My cat just fell off a thing, <laughs> which I'm gonna get myself level 54 rune crafting with. Yay! Good job, me. Good job. Gonna make law runes, which is actually a pretty good rune to make. Uh, it gets you good money. Level 49! Fishing! One more to go, and then. Finally, be done with this extremely boring skill. Pretty nice cooking. You can now brew axemen fully. One more. <laughs> cooking is not bad at all. Level 50 fishing. I think it's our 13th level 50. You can now try hard printing swordfish. Those are really slow and not really worth it. Some of the best food if you're uh, free to play, though. Uh, we just need to catch a few more to be able to get 50 cooking. So we're gonna catch probably this full inventory. Then we get 50 cooking and. Uh, be done with fishing and cooking thank god well especially fish i really like this area i really like the atmosphere the, the i mean there's no one really here right now but often there's like a community here that like people talk and it's, it's fine i was talking to people here last night and it's just stupid goofy stuff but um it's just it's slow <laughs> fishing in general is pretty boring it's a pretty boring skill uh cooking would also be pretty boring but it's super 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 fast in fact it's normally the first skill people get to level 99 so yeah, we get level 50 cooking, and then we're gonna go do other things. Level 50 cooking! 14th level 50, I believe. You're gonna be cook chocolate cakes, not eat. Um, cool. We're also getting very close to 2 million experience, so I'll go over all my stats then. I think next I'm gonna do a farming run, which should probably... I think it's like 3,000 experience per oak tree, which I planted 5 of the... 5? I think 5. We're able to get a crap ton of farming experience. That'll probably... I think we should probably do some thieving. We're starting around with level 50 to work on, to be honest. Range, terrible, like, these are just money. Hunter, I don't want to do. I hate it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a good new farming run. Alright, I could have done this. I mean, this is literally happening, like, three or four days after. I could have done this, like, I think it's, like, I don't know, 12 hours after we planted it. Laziness! This gives me, like, 400 experience, 467. Level 94. <laughs> We're going to get quite a few levels for this. Level 19 farming. Yeah, now grow terrible. Once I grow some better herbs... I think once we get to Ranars, what's, what's Ranars at? Where them Ranars at? I think level 20 something? Uh, where are they? Am I, am I blind? 32, once I get to level 32 farm, I'm definitely gonna start doing Ranars because that makes me some good money. And I believe you can actually pay these guys to like chop down the tree for you, which is quicker. 200 coins, I didn't bring any coins. I'll bring coins for the rest of them, but I'll just chop this one down. Then you just chop it down. I'm gonna use my spade to get rid of the stump. Theoretically, you could use the, these patches to grow like trees and um, just like a magic tree or something, which is pretty good money, and you get your own little private tree. Um, I'm not gonna do that though, obviously. Um, but yeah, 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 mm, yeah. Oh, here we go. Cool. I didn't expect that to actually happen. But, oh, there you go. Then get some tree roots. I don't think that. I think it was like not used for anything. If you're not quick enough, the weeds will grow back, so you gotta be careful. Oh, there she is. Oh, she is. Give her the tomatoes. Good, perfect. I don't need to say that. Perfect. Okay, uh, I'll see you guys in the next patch when we get another level. Level 20 farming. <laughs> the music. <laughs> you don't grow sweet corn. Perfect. And this one will actually be able to pay. Uh, 200 coins. Yes, sir. We just gonna be quick, 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 quick. the freaking weeds grow because I don't have a rake on me. I missed. Oh, right there. You can actually give these guys uh, these tool up. There we go. Oh, man. You can actually give these guys supplies. So, like, my inventory, you'll now... Oh, you always have this... Why is that... 
There, what the, what the seed drip. Anyways, so you'll always have a spade on them, but I will do this eventually. I don't know why I haven't done it yet. I really should do it. One day I'll do it, but for now I'm not because I'm lazy. Oh god, it looks like we're gonna be two more trees before we uh, get level 21. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, I um, wasn't expecting that. Uh, level 21 farming. What? I thought it was like, uh, I thought it was like 200, 300. What the heck? Am I stupid? Okay, definitely 467.5 experience with you. you now grow uh, Kandorian hops. Pfft, never gonna touch that ever. The level 22 farming. Now grow Cadaver. Cada, cada, level 100 or 925 total level. Perfect. I didn't realize. I know we're getting very close to a uh, million experience. Um, next goal. Just stole from this cake stall here with this paladin, this honorable paladin watching me. The guards will attack me, but not the paladins. Uh, in the, the complete and easy task in the Ardone Diary. Level 15 thieving. I missed it because I'm an idiot. Epic of female hound members and steal from cowbells from dairy cows. Wow. I'm not bad at this game. Level 16 thieving. Just like that. Easy. Level 17 thieving. 18. 19. One more to go until we can do something else. Level 20. You can now steal from six silk stalls, pocket mail hand members, and pick clocks on Zorgar dolphins at Jiggy. Okay. Um, I guess now we're doing silk. I don't remember how this works, to be honest. Oh, this guy's already stealing silk. This bastard. This bastard! Anyone? Can I enter the Jaws Vera Tomb and so fandom? Mm -hmm. 22! Beautiful Wise Dolls! 23! Thiefing! 25! Oh, 24! Oh man, I thought I was supposed to get 25! <sighs> Feels like years later. Level 25 Thiefing. We're halfway there on levels, but as you can see, I have 7,800 experience. We need roughly 100,000, 103,000 experience to get to level 50, so... Halfway in levels, not so much in the experience category. Uh, you can now pick back from Warriors, which I'm gonna do now. Uh, steal from fruit stalls and enter the Sorcerer's Spring Garden. Cool, 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 cool. So let's go steal from some warrior woman, which are in town. You'll see it when I level up, though, so yeah. Level 26 thieving! Yeah, so I'm just stealing from her. She's got me in the I got her in this corner, which is perfect, because she's trapped. She can't walk away. But... I don't didn't bring any food, so I'm gonna have to leave her, and she's gonna get untrapped, and it's gonna suck in a minute. But look, when you're successful, you gotta look, look at all that. Look at all those experience points I'm getting. Yeah, I'm gonna get food. Level 27 thieving. Yeah, you can also have stay installed. Level 20 thieving. You can also steal from certain chests upstairs in Ardone and Relica. Woot. Hey, check it out, God. 29 thieving. Well, 30 thieving! Unfortunately, there's nothing new for me to do yet. Oh, god, god, freaking. After a while of thieving these things, they literally face through the wall, and I don't know why. I guess it's probably some measure to stop people from scanning them trapped forever, but I didn't know that was a thing. Come on, please don't. Oh, come on, don't fail me now. What? Hello? Hello? Do the game break. Oh, come on. There we go, level 31. Oh, what? Oh, dead. Level 32 thieving, and I fucking skipped past it. God damn it. Level 33 thieving! My god, I saw. It never ends. We're not even halfway there yet. Level 33 thieving! My god, I saw. It never ends. We're not even halfway there yet. I didn't. I didn't miss it, but I hit the record and nothing happened. That's something that weird that happens on OBS sometimes. I don't know why. You can now steal from first stalls. Yay! We're gonna keep it. Why did I get hit for it? I didn't steal from you! Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba 23 farming. Uh, can I make scarecrows in the, the videos like it? I don't know. I thought I fixed this. Uh, you guys can't. Nothing's. You probably can't see anything right now. Oh, no, it's back to normal. Okay, good. Scarecrows get double oak roots. <laughs> Why would I want double oak roots? <laughs> Giant scarecrow. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do to fix. I thought it was good. Maybe it is good now. I don't know. Anyways. There we go. Time to go get more farming levels. Please don't like. Please don't like. 24 farming! I'll grow this turbo guard. My favorite turn. Oh my gosh. 25 farming! And we're one level away from 950 total level. You can grow wall 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 plants. Well, oh, my favorite. Another random uh, Ordone um, achievement diary. I, I checked this uh, pet store, pet insurance person. Uh, Maybe one day, there's a very extremely rare chance in this game that when you're doing something, let's say thieving, I could get a, there's like a one in like one gazillion chance 
that um, uh, I'll get a pet to spawn on top of me, which means I'll have a real, a real buddy to take care of forever. You don't really gotta do anything, but it's more of just a, more of just a chance thing. It doesn't really mean anything, but it's just more of a, you know, it looks cool and not a whole lot of people have it. So that, that's what this lady is for, to insure them in case, like, if you die while you have a pet on you, you normally lose it, but if you pay her, I think it's like 500,000 gold. Um, if you die with the pet, you'll be able to reclaim it from her, so that's that's what that checking with her is how I got that achievement diary to be updated. So cool beans. 36 leaving! Two more till I can do another thing. You can now pick up at cave goblins. And level 950 total of and there's a beep in the back. Oh dying at 2.02 million experience. Yay! 950. Only 50 more level to a one thousand. I believe the max total level in this game is like two thousand. 75 or something so we're not even halfway there but you know one day one day we did it 37 theming Alright, they have a 30 theming which is now pickpock master farmers which is actually what we're gonna go do now goodbye a beautiful warrior where she go oh my god we're gonna go pickpocket some fast and the reason why we're doing that well for one better experience but for two uh we could also get good seeds from them like <gasps> Ran our seeds which is worth around 40,000 gold each, so that's a lot better than I made around 15,000 going from like what level 20 to 38. So, you know, that's not very good, but you know. hey, it's a couch! All right, time to go to Master Farmers. Level 39 thieving! 40 thieving! I can all pick my guard. Ooh, do I want to do that? I don't really care about making money with this skill. I'd much rather just get it over with. We're 10 more levels away. Burp. Only 37,000 out of 100,000 experience. I don't like this skill very much. It's very boring. So I might figure out another faster way to do this. But I want the thing. Can I enter the third room of the tombs and so final, which is actually what I probably should be doing. Yeah. Oh, right. I didn't expect to do this. I could pickpocket this guy apparently. I got achievement diary from this. Good. Good. 42 thieving. Three more, if you can steal from fish dolls, which eh. Three more, and then we'll be able to do a blackjacking, which is another method that will be... Not make me want to die, hopefully. All right, I had a message when I logged in that says, uh, I can now do Tears of the Gothics again. When I didn't play this game last, that was not a thing. Uh, I don't think, yeah, that was when I first logged in. And let's see where that teleports me to. Oh, just right here, cool. So yeah, it's pretty close. So uh, let's do this and... Uh... See, you will get uh, construction experience from this. Probably, <laughs> probably up to level three as well. Twenty-five tiers and level three construction. Wait, what? Oh, maybe we can't get construction experience until we talk to an agent. That's how you start that skill. You got to talk to somebody. So maybe that's why. Weird. I thought it'd still give me experience. Well, anyways, level six hunter, yay! Level fifty one slayer. I said to go do some more of this. This is particularly in the wilderness right now, so people could attack me. And a level sixty one there, and he's kind of scaring me a bit. Thankfully, I don't have much longer to deal with this test. Seven more, please don't attack me. 